So NASA's Parker Solar Probe, which launched in 2018, has been using Venus Gravity Assist to get closer and closer to the sun. And most recently it had a Venus Gravity Assist, and so now it's gonna fly within 3.83 million miles of the surface of the sun, which is closer than any human-made object has ever gone before. have never had a human-made object so close to the sun. To get that close, we had to use Venus to have our gravity assist to slow Parker down so that it could get that close. Also, we had to not melt. That's why the Parker has this heat shield that holds the instruments at room temperature and keeps the heat of the sun away. And these are just amazing feats. And so it's so amazing that we are so close and really getting to measure in detail this material up close. We're here at uh, solar maximum, which is the time that the sun is the most uh, dynamic and it has explosions all the time, these huge coronal mass ejections and solar flares. Uh, and those are, are the biggest, most energetic explosions in our solar system and uh, actually larger than the entire planet Earth. Uh, they're really just uh, some, some unbelievable uh, things to observe. And so by passing this close to the sun, we're able to observe these uh, explosions close up and instead of having them get all stirred up and blurred by the time uh, they reach the Earth, we're getting to see the pristine uh, processes happening right up close to their uh, origin. 10, 9, nine start. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the Sun. Three RS engage look good in the full thrust mode. Booster is uh, throttling down to the partial thrust mode. One minute, 45 seconds into flight.